to the RVA Showstoppers Elementary Group performance of Monkey Business. Our students have worked so hard putting this together through Zoom and the magic of green screens. We've had a lot of fun putting this together and we've worked very hard and they've done a great job. We hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed putting it together. So now we ask that you sit back, close your other browsers, turn off your chat, relax and enjoy the show. Once upon a time in a far off jungle, there was a monkey who loved making people laugh. In fact, he was so good at making people laugh, he started his own business, selling laughs. Need a laugh? Step right up. All laughs on sale today. I'll take one, please. Sure thing. That'll cost you one dollar. Here you go. And make it a good one. It's been a rough day. Why don't monkeys play cars in the jungle? There's too many cheetahs around. <laughs> That's a good one. Thanks for the laugh. I hear you got some good ones there. I'll take two, please. Do jokes? Sure thing. Coming right up. How many toucans can live in the jungle? Just two can. Yeah, that's a good one, monkey. Okay, here's the next one, Toucan. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? 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 Since when does a toucan say coo hoo? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to tell my friend that one. And so, every day, Monkey would sell laughs to his customers. And this went on for some time until one day. Meow, I sure can use a laugh right about now. Here you go. Do you know what a cat's favorite color is? Purple. That is such no joke. Try again. Lights run on electricity, colors run on gas, and cats run on. Their paws. Duh. Not funny. Try again. Monkey tried joke after joke with Jaguar, but Jaguar had already heard them all. Well, I guess if you can't make me laugh, I will need my money back. Monkey had run out of jokes. He didn't know what to do. His business was at stake if he didn't find something funny to make people laugh. So he set off to find something funny. Meanwhile, somewhere in the jungle. Daddy, why do you have to be king of the jungle? It's just the way things are. I rule the jungle and you're my daughter, so you're the princess. Uh, I don't want to be princess of the jungle. Why not, my dear? I don't want to wear one of those fancy dresses at the ball. It's only one time per year. It's not that bad. You have no idea. It's awful. If you don't think it's that bad, why don't you wear one of those itchy, scratchy dresses to the ball? <laughs> Maybe I could go as a court jester. Imagine how funny that would be. Or maybe I could dress up as a superhero. Ah, ha, ha. Thank you for the laugh, my dearling daughter. At the same moment, Monkey had just come upon the pair and heard the laughter, so he stopped to listen behind a tree. Just imagine that everyone finds out that I'm a superhero when I arrive at the ball. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's our king! <laughs> Won't they be surprised? They will all be shocked. This is just what I need. I bet people will pay to hear this news. Unfortunately, Monkey didn't stick around long enough to hear what the king had said next. Instead, he hurried off to get some business. Haha, <laughs> too bad I'm not actually a superhero. How fun would that be? Now in all seriousness, 
You know how important the annual ball is. We have some very important guests driving. I think we all can manage one day wearing some formal clothes. Okay, Daddy, I suppose I can manage for one day being the princess, but I'm sure glad you're my super dad. Meanwhile, Monkey didn't waste any time trying to get some business. On his way back through the jungle, he came across Zebra. Hey, Zebra, want to hear a really big secret? It will just cost you one dollar. Nah, I'm glad to hear jokes. Have any good jokes? Well, this isn't a joke, but I think you'll find it amusing. And it's about the king. Really? A secret about the king? Oh, I've just got to know. Yep, but you'll have to pay first. Okay, but it's not good. I get my money back. Deal. Here it goes. The king is actually a superhero. And he's going to show everyone his superhero powers at the ball. <laughs> what you asking? Nope, I heard him say it myself. I guess he wants to surprise everyone at the ball. That's what I gotta see. I want what kind of super person. Maybe he can fly and need to go tell Hippo. So Zebra ran off to tell Hippo. Hippo, you gotta hear this. The king is actually a superhero and he's gonna view his powers at the ball. Ah, no way. Ooh. Yep, monkey heard him say it so himself. Betty's gonna fly over the entire kingdom. Wow, do you really think he wears a cape under his king's robe too? I bet it's a red cape too. Yeah, he's probably like Superman. I need to go tell Frog. So Hippo ran off to tell Frog. Yo, Frog, you what's up? This you gotta hear. The king's actually Superman and he wants to surprise everybody at the bar. No way, are you serious? Yep, Monkey heard him say so himself and he wants to surprise the entire kingdom. I can't wait to see this. Do you think he has freeze breath too? Oh, I bet he does. I can't wait to see. We have to go to the ball. Zebra's going too. I better go tell Giraffe. So Frog hopped through the forest to find Giraffe. Jeffrey, my man, have you heard the crazy news on the street? No, what's up? The king is actually a superhero. And he's going to reveal his powers at the ball. And he got his freeze breath too. Do you imagine how cool that would be? Wowza, I can't believe it. Are you sure? That sounds kind of incredible. Yep, Monkey heard him say so himself. Well, I better find something to wear to the ball. I certainly can't miss this one. Yep, we're all going to go. Wait, wouldn't it be cool if... We all dressed up as superheroes to go to the ball? You know, to support our king? To show him that he's super? Yeah, let's all dress up as superheroes. Superheroes? Did someone say dress up as superheroes? You can count me in. Frog and Giraffe ran off to tell all their friends of their plan to dress up as superheroes, and everybody agreed it was a great idea. They all thought of unique superheroes and put together their own superhero outfits. This is so fun. Maybe I can find some superhero costume in my trunk. Ha, what about this? I could be wine princess girl. I'll make flowers everywhere. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to be super scooper. I'm going to scoop you up a Sunday. Look out, World of Toothman! Have no fear, here's Tall Paper Man! Here's Hockey Hippo! Is it a board? Is it a pin? No, it's... Oh, I 
actually I'm a bird, but anyway, I'm Super Taco Toucan. I'm Long Reach Man. We are the coolest superheroes ever. The king is going to be so surprised. I can't wait for the ball. On the day of the ball, the animals were all dressed as makeshift superheroes and headed to the castle. Little did they know that the princess saw them coming, dressed in their strange costumes. Daddy, Daddy, come quick. There are a bunch of crazy animals in costumes headed toward the castle. Oh, my. Don't let them ruin the ball, Daddy. Guards! Guards! And so, the king ordered his guards not to let in the strangely dressed animals. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Hmm, one of those crazy animals looks like my dear friend Jeff. Maybe he can explain. The king ordered the guards to bring Jeffrey into his chambers. When Jeffrey arrived, he saw the king and saw he was clearly not in a Superman outfit. Jeffrey, is that you? Why are you dressed so ridiculous? Why would you want to ruin the important ball? Well, um, you see, sire, I was told that you were a superhero. What? Whatever do you mean by superhero? Well, sire, I, um... I um heard that you were Superman and were planning to reveal your true identity today and demonstrate your flying and freeze breath. We just wanted to support your super highness. <laughs> what made you believe that? I heard it from Frog, who heard it from Pipple, who heard it from Zebra, who heard it from Monkey. So we all thought we would come dressed as superheroes, you know, to support you. Ah, ha, ha. How rumors can spread like butter around here. Now I must go hear this from Monkey, how this crazy rumor got started. The guard brought Monkey before the king. Hello, your majesty. You requested to see me? Yes, indeed. Please tell me how you came to hear that I was a superhero. Well, you see, Your Majesty, oh, you would tell the princess in the jungle how surprised everyone would be when you revealed that you were a superhero at the mall. Huh. Indeed, I did say that. But that wasn't all I said. Didn't you hear me tell the princess? that it's too bad that I wasn't actually a superhero, and I take the ball very seriously? Oh, oops. No, Monkey. I like your business idea of making people laugh. As laughter is important, but this business of selling rumors is not good. Rumors can do a lot of damage very quickly. I understand. And furthermore, it is very important to make sure that what you say is the truth. You know, if I didn't tell the truth, I'd be a lying king. Aha! Get it? A lying king? <laughs> monkey burst into laughter, and it was just what Monkey needed. He never realized how enjoyable laughter was, since it had long felt like work for Monkey. In fact, it was so enjoyable that Monkey decided that laughs should be free, but not at the expense of others. So he decided to start a new business adventure. Get your bananas here. Three for one. They're the best around, and you can tell because they have appeal. Mm, 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 mm. Here you are, monkey. I'll take one banana. Wait, do you know what kind of key opens a banana? Uh, no. Well, a monkey, of course. Hey, could you open this banana for me? And so, the monkey made his business selling bananas and threw in some free jokes for the joy of laughter. And in exchange, some of his customers shared great jokes too. What kind of 
food is the best at selling things. Celery. What is the smallest animal ever? Fish, because they stay in school. What does a frog feel when he breaks his leg? On Hoppy. Why did the whole go get ice cream? He was feeling down. Good. Hi, my name is Jayla, and I am from New Richmond, Wisconsin. I am in fourth grade at the RVA. In the play Monkey Business, I play the part of narrator. My favorite part of the show is when Monkey decides jokes should be free. If I could have any superhero power, I would be able to talk to animals. I'd like to give a shout out to my grandma for helping me. Hi, I'm Sully, and I live in Antigo, Wisconsin. I'm in fourth grade in the RV. In the play Monkey Business, I play the monkey. My favorite part in the play is when Hippo, Hippo says, it's a bird, it's a plane, no it? And then, and then Toucan says, Actually, I am a bird, but anyways. If I had any one superpower, I would have water breath. I give a special thanks to my mom, my brother Shepard, and Miss McDonald for helping me with play. Hi, my name is Alana, and I'm from Skokie, Wisconsin. I'm in fourth grade at the RBA. My favorite in the play Monkey Business, I play the part of Elephant. My favorite part of the play is all the jokes and laughs that come with it. If I could have any superhero power, I'd probably choose teleportation because I could go anywhere in the world. I'd like to give a shout out for, to Mrs. McDonald for writing and directing the play, and my parents for helping with lights, costumes, and setup. Hi, my name is Lofton, and I am from Nina, Wisconsin. I'm in third grade at the RBA in the play Monkey Biz. I play the part of Toucan. My favorite part of the show is when all the animals dress up as crazy superheroes. I could have any superpower. I would have super speed. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom. Hi, my name is Adley, and I live in Nina, Wisconsin. I'm in fifth grade at the RBA. In the play Monkey Business, I play, play the part of Jaguar. My favorite part of the play is when everyone dresses up in funny costumes. I would like to give, give a shout out to my grandma for sewing my superhero costume. And if I could have one superhero power, it would probably be something that made me really smart so I would never have to do school ever again. Hi, my name's Aubrey and I'm from Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. I'm in third grade at the RVA and in the play Monkey Business, I played the part of Princess Lion. My favorite part of the play is when Jaguar tries joke after joke with no, sorry. Monkey tries joke after joke with Jaguar, but Jaguar had already heard them all. And if I could have any superpower, I would want to be able to fly. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom for helping me with my costume and my green screen. Hi, my name is Brown and I'm from Tomo, Wisconsin. I am in fifth grade at the RV in the play Monkey Business. I play the part of Lion King. My favorite part of the show is when I say, uh, I'm a Lion King. If I could have any superhero power, I would like teleportation. 
And I'd like to give a huge shout out to my mom, my dad, my brother, and the whole cast that put this together. Hi, my name is Trent. I live in Schofield, Wisconsin. In the play Monkey Venus, I play the part of Zebra. My favorite part of the play is when the, the king lion says, if I didn't tell the truth, I'd be a lion king. And when monkey bursts out of laughter, if I had any superhero power, I, I would have teleportation and flight. I, I want to give a shout out to my mom for all her hard work. What is your name? Sea Gus. And where are you from? Anago, Wisconsin. What grade are you in? In the OVA. Second grade. What is your part in the play, Monkey Business? The hippo. What is your favorite part of the show? When I said, yo, Froggy, what's up? If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would be able to shoot out ice. Would you like to give any shout outs to people? I give a shout out to my mom and my brother, Shepard. Hi, my name is Corey and I'm from Nina, Wisconsin. And, and I'm in second grade from the RBA. In the play Monkey Business, I play the part of Frog. My favorite part of the show is when all the animals dress up as super people. And I would like to give a shout out to my mom, which is also the person that is the person that makes all this, which is also my mom. And if I had any super Hero powers, my would be super sticky feet and super sticky hands. Hi, my name is Easton and I am from New Richmond, Wisconsin, and I am in second grade. In the play Monkey Business, I play the part of Giraffe. My favorite part of the play is when the rumor spreads. If I had, if I could have any superpower, it would be to be able to fly. I would like to give a shout out to my grandma for helping me. Hi, my name is Pam McDonald and I'm from Nina, Wisconsin. I'm an RVA parent, regional event coordinator, and the director and author of Monkey Business. My favorite part of this show is meeting with the students each week and playing silly games that make us all smile. If I could have any superhero power, I'd have the ability to make the sun shine. In real life, those gloomy days are my kryptonite. I'd like to give a shout out to my family for their support in helping write this play, to all of the cast members who worked so hard, and to all of our backstage crew members, our parents, grandparents, and helpers who helped with the costumes, the backdrops, the lines, and so much more. We couldn't have done this without all of you. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone watching our show. Thank you for supporting our RVA show sponsors.